today we are going to solve this problem from JE Advanced 2024 paper 1. So this is a good problem of trigonometry and you should attend this question one time before watching the solution. So let's start solving this question. So before solving this question, let's analyze every data given in this question. First what is given that pi by 2 less than x less than pi which means that x belongs to the second quadrant. Okay. Next is cot x equal to minus 5 by root 11. We will use that later and we need to find the value of this quantity and four options are given and one of them is correct. So this is our question. Now let's start solving this question by rewriting this quantity. Let's do that. This is sin 11x by 6x minus cos 6x plus cos 11x by 2 into sin 6x plus cos 6x. Now we will open the brackets so it will be sin 11x by 2 sin 6x minus sin 11x by 2 cos 6x plus cos 11x by 2 sin 6x plus cos 11x by 2 cos 6x. Okay. So now see these two terms cos a minus b. So if we apply that it will be cos of okay. and if we take minus 1 common from these two terms will be minus okay so this is sin a cos b minus cos a sin b which is equal to sin a minus b so it will be sin 11x by 2 minus 6x okay so after simplifying this will be cos of minus x by 2 minus sin of minus x by 2. So cos of minus x by 2 is cos x by 2. Sin of minus x by 2 is minus sin x by 2 and this minus is already there. So minus minus will be plus. So it will be plus sin x by 2. Now we got a simplified result. Now let's hold this result equal to p. Okay. Now we will square both sides so it will be p squared equal to cos squared x by 2 plus sin squared x by 2 will be equal to 1 sin x by 2. Okay. Now 2 cos theta sin theta is equal to sin 2 theta. Okay. So this will be 2 cos x by 2 sin x by 2 will be equal to sin x. So it is 1 plus sin x. Now we need to find the value of sin x actually. Now we will find this using two data given in the question that is x belongs to the second quadrant and cot x equal to minus 5 by root 11. We will use this. So cot x is equal to second quadrant so sin x will be positive. Okay. So this will be sin x will be root 11 by whole root of 11 plus 25 which is whole root of 36 and that is equal to 6. So root 11 by 6 will be the value of sin x. Okay. So if we put it here, let's put it here. So this will be 1 plus root 11 by 6. This is 6 plus root 11 by 6. Now if we try to find the value of p, so p will be equal to whole root of 6 plus root 11 by 6. Now many of you can ask that why I did not give plus minus here. So I did not give plus minus here because if you analyze that pi by 2 less than x less than pi is given. If we multiply half in all the sides then it will be pi by 4 less than x by 2 less than pi by 2. Okay. So x by 2 is a is a positive acute angle. Okay. 
so there is no plus minus it is positive now check the options there is 2 root 3 2 root 3 so now how we will get 2 root 3 we know that root 12 is equal to 2 root 3 so if we multiply numerator denominator by 2 then it in the numerator it will be 12 plus 2 root 11 and we are by in denominator it will be 12 so this is whole root of we can write the numerator as root 11 whole square plus 2 root 11 plus 1 divided by 12. Now the numerator will be root 11 plus 1 whole square and if we get that out of the root it will be root 11 plus 1 and root 12 is equal to 2 root 2. So we got the answer. So the answer will be option B. So this was a very good question of trigonometry and not so hard based on the basic concepts. So if you like this video, make sure to like, comment and share and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos and concepts. Thank you for watching the video.